Hi, my name is Abhishek Patel and I'm a founder of Webion Systems. In this video, we will see how to perform data-driven testing in test completely. So for a part of testing, I'm going to use this form. And I want to test this form with the bunch of data that is username and password. So I have created this data inside this spreadsheet that is Excel with the username and password column and I want to test that form with this data okay let's see how to do that using data driven testing in test complete so open the test complete and I have already recorded this test action to log into the form okay here it is now to perform the data driven testing select all these tabs right click and select this make a data loop okay so before you do that make sure your spreadsheet is closed okay otherwise it will show you an error okay right click and again select this make a data loop and here it will ask you to create a variable that will store the data or that will store the column or row data from your spreadsheet so I am going to keep it as it is, that is var1 and going to click on next. And here are the options test complete provides where you can store the data to perform the data given testing. Since I am storing my data in an Excel worksheet, I am going to select this option that is Excel worksheet. My data is coming from Excel worksheet. Click on next and this window asks you the location of the file. Okay. My Excel spreadsheet is on desktop and the name of spreadsheet is user role data. Select that and click on open. Now select next. And here you can you have to select the sheet where the data is residing for testing. My data is sitting in a sheet one. So I'm going to select this sheet one and click on next. And here it will ask from where you want to start reading the data. So from the row one because row zero is just a label that is username and password but the actual data starts from the row one okay row zero has this label that is username password but row one has the actual data so i'm going to keep this as it is and click on next now here you have to select first you have to select the input box where you want to provide the data from spreadsheet so i want to provide the data to this text box username so click on it and select this drop down and from var1 that is the variable default variable click on this username okay click on this username and click on finish also you have this password so we can change this password from variable okay this variable and the variable is var1 and the column is password click ok ok and ok so now we are telling the test complete to perform the data driven loop or data driven testing where the data for text box username is coming from this username column of the spreadsheet and password password so this pass, password input field will populated by this data that is coming from password column of spreadsheet okay now let's run and see how our test looks So as you can see, it's doing the data driven testing. It's picking the data from each row and passing it into this input field box. Okay. And once all the data from all the rows are exhausted, the test will stop running. All right, so 
or test got executed successfully. And this is how you can do data driven testing in test complete. So that's it in this video. I'll see you next time. So if you need a software testing consultation or software testing training, then visit to our company's URL that is www.webyonsystems.com and on the home page click on this contact us button which will take you to the contact us section of the website. Now here either you can write us at contact at webionsystems.com or you can call us at this number if you are from India or at this number if you are from United States or the Canada. Thank you.